Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, I tell you on this channel all the time, the truth will always come to light. The truth will always break free. You can lock the truth up. You can throw away the key. And the truth will always find a way to break free. And lately, we've been getting a lot of truth. We've been getting boxers speaking up and talking about the double standards that exists in the sport of boxing, things that you guys have been hearing me talk about since day one, you're starting to hear boxers talk about. Matter of fact, speaking of that, I wanna go ahead and issue a verbal disclaimer right now. Because in this video, I will be talking about double standards and racial double standards. So if that's something that doesn't concern you, if you don't care about that kind of stuff, this is your opportunity to stop the video right now and go watch another video. Matter of fact, you could even unsubscribe if you want to. Because quite frankly, the message is for the people that want the truth and the whole truth. It's not for the ignorant. It never has been for the ignorant, okay? With that being said, let's go ahead and uh, quote exactly what Andre Ward had to say about this situation. So of course, Andre Ward, he was talking about the past that Gennady Golovkin gets. And I'm going to elaborate on that after I read what he had to say. Let's go ahead and get into it. So this is what Andre Ward had to say. Quote, the reality is he gets a lot of passes. Golovkin gets passes. Can you imagine me being in a fight with a guy two weight classes below me getting touched like that? We see the hypocrisy. We see the different things going on. We just choose to keep quiet and we're already moving on. I'm already over the guy. If the situation makes sense, then he can certainly head up and come get it. But I'm not going to be making any concessions. That time is over with. We were going to do that. That time has passed. And that's over and passed. Once again, everything that you just heard Andre Ward say is what I have been conveying to you guys since day one. I thought it was interesting that Andre Ward, he said, Golovkin, he gets a pass. I've been telling you guys that pass is called hope insurance. Gennady Golovkin, he has his hope card. So that insurance, it covers him from any type of criticism, from any type of double standards when it comes to the vast majority of boxing fans. Don't get me wrong. You have a lot of professional boxers and trainers that are coming out to criticize Gennady Golovkin when it comes to his level of competition, when it comes to him not stepping up and wait. When it comes to these things, a lot of people have stepped up and talked about it. But when I say he has a pass, he has a pass by the majority of boxing fans. And some of the biggest boxing fans are members of the media. People like Dan Raphael that represents ESPN. These are the ones that make sure they keep fighters like Gennady Golovkin covered. They make sure his hope insurance serves him the proper way. Let me give you a perfect example when it comes to Dan Raphael. So Andre Ward is a gold medalist for the United States of America, okay? We have an American gold medalist. The last man to win a gold medal is Andre Ward. Dan Raphael is an American reporter. Andre Ward fights twice in his own country. The first time he fought, he actually moved up in weight to fight an undefeated Sullivan Barrera. That fight was, a, was considered a 50-50 fight going in. On top of that, 
with very little exposure and promotion, a million people tuned in to watch Andre Ward step up and wait to face the undefeated Sullivan Barrera. Do you guys know that Dan Raphael, he didn't even bother to show up and cover the event? He didn't even show up to cover the event. And we knew that when he didn't show up to cover Andre Ward's second fight, which, which was against Alexander Brand, then we knew it was intentional. We knew it, it wasn't a situation where there was an emergency and Dan couldn't make it. He decided not to show up. Now, just think about how hypocritical that looks. Dan Raphael, do you know that when Golovkin, a fighter who's not American, when he fought against Willie Monroe, Dan Raphael showed up at that fight. A fight that was considered a gross mismatch, right? Matter of fact, I remember Fred, shouts out to um, Barbershop Conversations, uh, Fred, he interviewed Gennady Golovkin at that fight, at the Golovkin versus Monroe fight, because I was there live as well, covering the Golovkin fight. And Fred interviewed Dan Raphael. He said, do you think Willie Monroe has a chance? And Dan Raphael, he put a crazy look on his face like, of course he doesn't have a chance. He said, well, come on, man. The guy has six knockouts. No, he really doesn't have a chance. And he broke it down. He elaborated, right? So let me get this straight. You come to cover a Golovkin fight where you even admit, by your own admission, you admit that this guy, Willie Monroe, he has no chance at all. But you'll cover that fight. But then when Andre Ward, the American, who's fighting in America, when he's fighting, you don't bother to cover that fight. And then when he fights a second time, you don't cover that fight either. So see, we, you can't use the excuse and say, oh, well, the only reason Dan Raphael didn't cover the Barrera fight because it was a mismatch and it was this and it was that. You can't even say that because Andre Ward moving up in weight to face undefeated Sullivan Barrera was a much bigger challenge than Golovkin facing Willie Monroe. We all know that. We all know that. I mean, I'm going to ask you a, a very simple question. If Andre Ward was a British fighter, if he fought out of the UK, do you honestly believe the biggest network when it comes to the media, they would intentionally not cover Andre Ward's fight? Do you think that would ever happen? That would never happen. That would never happen in the UK. Then to add insult to injury, while Dan Raphael wouldn't cover Andre Ward in his own country, Dan Raphael flies all the way to the UK to cover Golovkin versus Kell Brook. Can you honestly sit here and tell me this has nothing to do with race? You won't cover Andre Ward, the gold medalist, the guy that represented his own country, you won't cover him when he has a fight right down the street, but you will go to the UK to cover two foreigners. How does that make any sense? How does that logically make any sense? But actually, it does make sense because at the end of the day, we know what time it is. We know what time it is. Something else I noticed that I think a lot of people didn't catch when it comes to the Golovkin versus Kell Brook fight. When both fighters were doing their ring walks, did you guys notice that the UK fans, they were actually booing Gennady Golovkin and they were cheering for their countryman, Kell Brook. Now keep in mind, when the UK fans were booing Golovkin, they weren't booing him because they hated him. They were booing him to show their support for their countrymen. But you notice when Golovkin fights in America, it is the complete opposite. When Golovkin is in America and he's fighting an American, the fans 
they actually boo the American fighter and they cheer for Gennady Golovkin. You see how the double standards work? As Don King would put it, only in America. Only in America do you get this level of hypocrisy. And Andre Ward, he said it best. Something else Andre Ward said was, he said, you know, people want to keep it quiet. You know, people don't want to talk about it. They want to keep it quiet. And that's something that racist fans, they do all the time. And the reason why people want to, you know, keep it on the hush is because people don't want to be guilty by association, right? If you're not part of the resolution, you are part of the problem. And unfortunately, in the sport of boxing, the majority of fans are decafs. The majority of fans, they are emotionally attached fans that base everything on race. And the two examples I just gave you with Dan Raphael and how the fans supported Kell Brook versus how the fans support American fighters going up against Gennady Golovkin clearly proves that. This is a, a sport that is based on race. And once again, unfortunately, the majority of fans in the sport of boxing, they are decafs. So they don't want to hear the truth when it comes to double standards because then they would have to implement themselves. And they don't obviously want to do that. You know, I'll close with saying this. If every reporter was like me, Racism in the sport of boxing wouldn't be such an issue because unlike Dan Raphael, I covered the Andre Ward fight and I covered the Gennady Golovkin fight. And when I cover these fights out of Las Vegas, I'm paying for the travel expenses, hotel, rent a car, and everything else that you have to pay for. What's so sad is Dan Raphael he doesn't even have to pay to cover these fights. And he still doesn't cover an Andre Ward fight. What does that tell you about Dan Raphael? That tells you that it is, it is extremely personal with Dan, right? I have to spend money out of my own pocket to cover the Golovkin fights and the Andre Ward fights. And I still cover them both. While this man, Dan Raphael, He's paid to go out and cover all of these fights, and he elects not to do it for personal reasons. To me, that sounds like some civil rights 1960 type of stuff right there. That's what that sounds like to me. How are you a real reporter or a real non-biased reporter when you only cover the fighters that you personally like as opposed to the ones that you do not like? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's almost like having a restaurant and telling people you're only going to serve a certain race in the restaurant. You're not going to serve everyone. When it comes to Dan Raphael, he refuses to serve everyone. But it gets worse for him because he refuses to serve his own countrymen. But he will serve foreigners. Now, what I just said right there, that makes me think about when the soldiers in World War II, when the black soldiers went over to fight for America and they were fighting the Germans, when they caught some of those German POWs and loaded them up on the bus, do you know that the white American soldiers, they made the black soldiers sit on the back of the bus so they can accommodate the German prisoners of war by letting them sit in the front of the bus, right? Once again, Americans treating foreigners better than black Americans. Exactly what we are getting today when it comes to Andre Ward and other fighters on the coincidental list, thanks to people who have serious influence in the sport of boxing like Dan Raphael. Thanks to people like Jim Lampley, Max Kellerman, 
And the list goes on and on and on. But I tell you this, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many boxing fans people like Dan Raphael try to indoctrinate. You could push whatever type of agenda you want to push, but you cannot make certain fighters that you like better. Because when you get right down to it, these fighters, when they get in the ring, no one can help them. ESPN's Dan Raphael, Jim Lampley, Max Kellerman, no one can help these guys when they get in the ring. Like Teddy Atlas said, that ring is the truth machine. And we're going to find out who the best is at the end of the day. No matter what you try to push, no matter how much red meat you throw to the boxing fans, we are going to find out the truth when these fighters get in the ring. You don't have to like these guys, but you will have to acknowledge their greatness when they prove how good they are. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.